There are many different ways that you can visualize your data using power metrics. When we think about different charts, we often think about how to visualize it over time, how to segment your data, or even how to compare it to past periods. Looking at these various different chart types on the left, you can see that not all of them have the ability to visualize over time, segment, or compare it. For example, tables have all of these three capabilities, but a waterfall chart, for example, can't be compared to past periods, nor can a pie chart, of course. So let's start by taking a look at a simple value or a number in many cases. In this case, you can see that it can't be segmented by anything. However, we can compare it to past periods or the same period last year, for example. We can do this using percentages, absolutes, or deltas. A line chart is probably the most common way to visualize data over time. But of course, you can do so much more with it. You can look at the data cumulatively. You can, of course, segment this by different dimensions, as well as looking at it using different styles, like a line, an area chart, or as a stacked percentage of the whole. Although bar and column charts are often used interchangeably with line charts, they are often best suited for when you have to visualize individual segments, for example, as is shown right now. They can also be viewed in different styles and of course compared to different periods in the past as well. Moving on to tables, tables are probably one of the most used and most useful visualization types. There's so much that you can do with tables by segmenting the data, using different columns and rows as a way to organize and understand your data, and even a way to sort the top or the bottom section of your data and then compare it again to past periods. Heat maps are often used to relate to different categories. As it's seen here, you can see that we are using time as the bottom axis, but oftentimes you're looking at two different categories to understand the density inside of the data. Waterfall charts are a popular financial charting tool. Often it is also looked at over time, but as you can see here, you can use time or categories to understand the data. The way waterfall charts work is that they add up or subtract and then present the sum total on the right hand side. Tree maps and scatter charts are actually quite similar to heat maps, but instead of using color and color density to display, here we primarily use shape. One of the benefits to using this chart type is that you can actually add more dimensionality or data depth to understanding your data. You can see here that I'm going to add country into this mix as well, along with billing period. And let's not forget about pie charts and donut charts, probably two of the most popular visualization types, and they remain one of the best at understanding the percentage of a whole. The last one I want to share with you is the radar chart. The radar chart is interesting in that it actually helps us understand the gravity or where the maximum number of data points lie within a certain distribution. 